Okay, um, last time I made a tutorial on masking and y you guys or somebody suggested uh, zooming in on a clip and uh, I'm not exactly sure what you meant but I'm gonna assume that the virtual camera will set all that so right here I'm just gonna show you how to construct a virtual camera using a script that I have saved and I'll I'm going to have to put a link on the side because one, it would take too long to explain the script and two, I don't know it all off the top of my head so it would require even more time. But basically what we're going to do is just draw a bounding box square and uh, alpha out the fill color but you have to have it on. It's not... whoops. I guess. I don't know. I'm going to assume you have to have it on. And just draw out a square, make it the same size, um, size as the stage. Mine's the default size. Line it up. And we have to draw a little crosshair guy that's going to represent the center point. So I'm going to draw it off to the side so I don't delete a bunch of my stuff. Now, I don't have it perfectly lined up, but this is just a demonstration. I'm sure you guys can find a way to line up those lines. But for now, I'm just going to use this. And then I'm, well, I'm just going to snap this onto the center by using the align tools. By going like that and if you press this, this aligns it to the horizontal center and then vertical then it's all lined up then what you're going to do is take everything on the frame well you want to make sure that there's no empty spots alright you're going to take everything on the frame convert it to a symbol make it a movie clip with the registration point at the center name it as you wish because there's no instance names involved go inside of that clip convert it to a symbol again graphic any name don't go inside the graphic what you want to do is add another layer click on frame one or well I'm going to name it actions for the sake of understanding um, click on frame one and well you're gonna have to load up the script that I have saved and linked off to the side and um, basically what it tells it is just to make everything fit inside of the square while it makes the square disappear so the square is just for your own visual noticing nobody else watching your animation is gonna see it so that's the virtual camera and testing it we're just gonna add another layer and draw a random shape on it and make it zoom into it you can use motion tweening easing anything with the with the zoomer so if I just did that and then created a motion tween say I made it ease out or in cause it goes all the way this is what it looks like to you when you're working on the timeline and when you preview it that's what it looks like in export mode so I hope I answered your question there um, about zooming into clips thanks